In this video, I'll describe ko naman yung mga iba't ibang thermodynamic processes. So, meron tayong two general types. Meron tayong acyclic process, yung mga process na from state 1 to state 2. Okay? Tapos, pumupunta sila minsan sa state 3, state 4, etc. Pero hindi na sila bumabalik sa state 1. Okay? They may come back sa state 2, pero hindi na sila bumabalik dun sa initial step or dun sa pinakauna niyang state bago nangyari yung process. Okay? So, meron tayong dalawang types ng acyclic processes. Meron tayong reversible and irreversible acyclic processes. Okay? So, meron naman tayong cyclic processes. So, they are uh, processes na bumabalik siya sa state 1 after the second to the last step. So, sa pinakadulo ng iyong cycle, babalik siya dun sa initial step niya bago magsimula iyong, iyong process. So, meron din tayong dalawang types. We have the fully reversible cycle and the cycle that has some um, irreversible steps. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, i-analyze natin yung values ng Q, W, Delta U, Delta H, and Delta A, Delta S ng bawat uh, type ng thermodynamic process. Okay? So, punta muna tayo sa acyclic processes or uh, sometimes we call them paths. Okay? So, for this one, we have CO2 na 1 mole, 1 atm, and 298.15 kelvin. That's the initial state. So, mag undergo siya ng irreversible Step to CO2, 1 mole, 2 atm, 400k. Okay? So, this is a single step process. However, this is irreversible. So, yung step na to, okay, is the irreversible path. Okay? So, that's an irreversible path. Kasi sabay-sabay nag-change uh, yung uh, pressure tsaka temperature. However, sa thermodynamics, we can divide the irreversible path into reversible steps. So, pwede muna natin gawin yung isobaric okay, heating. So, ang nangyari dyan, temperature lang yung nagbago, hindi yung pressure. So, this is called isobaric heating. Okay. Then, gawin natin yung isothermal um, compression. Kasi nag-increase yung kanyang pressure at constant temperature. Okay? So, pwede natin i-divide yung irreversible step na to into a series of reversible steps. So, ito naman yung tinatawag nating reversible paths. Okay? So, mas madaling i-calculate yung mga reversible paths kasi yun na yung mga equations na na-establish natin sa previous videos. So, pwede natin i-calculate individually yung mga reversible paths para magkaroon tayo ng equivalent na thermodynamic quantities doon sa kanyang irreversible path. So, for... The reversible path number one, okay, just that this is just an isobaric heating. So the entropy of that process is CPL and T2 over T1. So the entropy is 8.551 joules per Kelvin. Okay. So what is the CP nga pala nitong CO2? The CP of this CO2 is 7 halves, okay, NR. Kasi siya ay linear polyatomic. Okay. So the next one is the delta S. Okay, of the reversible path number 2, that is NRLN V2 over V1, which is also equal to NRLN P1 over P2 kasi pressure is yung given sa atin. Okay? So, the value for that is negative 5.763 joules per Kelvin. So, if we add okay, these uh, values, makukuha natin yung delta S ng irreversible path. So, the delta S of the irreversible path is given here. That's this, the sum of the delta S of the reversible path 1 plus the delta S of the reversible path 2. Okay, so the delta S of the irreversible path is equal to 2.788 joules per Kelvin. So for the Q, W, delta U, and delta H, pwede nyo na siyang i-calculate on your own. So madali lang naman dahil magagamit nyo naman yung inyong mga uh, existing equations. So kung meron kayong mga volume na hinahanap, you can just use the ideal gas equation, PV is equal to NRT. Okay? So now, let's proceed to the fully reversible cycle. So this is a type of cycle na lahat ng steps niya ay reversible. Okay? So in this cycle, we see that from A to B, okay, from A to B, meron tayong isotherm. So this is an isothermal process. From B to C, we have an isochoric process kasi this is at constant volume. Okay? And then finally, from C to A, meron tayong um, adiabatic process. So ibig sabihin, the DQ in this process is zero, while this is dt is equal to zero, dv is equal to zero. So, ito yung summary ng mga paths. Okay? 
So, let's calculate the Q, W, delta U, and delta H for each path. So, for path number 1, or this first step, okay, Q1 is just equal to NRT1 LN V2 over V1. Okay? This is for the isothermal Q. W is just equal to negative Q. Therefore, W is negative NRT1 LN V2 over V1. Since this is an isothermal process, dt is equal to 0. So, yung delta U1 at delta H1 ay parehong 0. Okay? So, the delta S of this path or this isothermal process is just equal to dq over t. So, therefore, that is nr ln v2 over v1. So, meron tayong value ng delta S1. Okay? So, for the next path, this is an isochoric process. Therefore, yung work nyo ay 0. Okay? So, your q2 is equal to delta u2. So, lagay natin yung mga labels. Delta u2 is just equal to cv times t2 minus t1. Okay? So, for delta H2, we have Cp times T2 minus T1. So, for the delta S, since this is an isochoric process, this is just Cv dt over T. Or if you integrate that, you have Cv ln T2 over T1. Okay? So, for the third step, okay, we have an adiabatic process. So, yung inyong Q3 I 0. Okay? So, for the delta H3, okay, that's just Cp times delta T or T1 minus T2 kasi pabalik na tayo dun sa initial path natin na A or initial state natin na A. Okay, so, the final temperature is T1. Tapos sa delta U3, okay, we have delta U is equal to W because this is an adiabatic process. So, 0 ang ating Q. So, delta U3 is equal to W3 which is also equal to Cv times T1 minus T2. Okay? So, since this process is adiabatic, your delta S3 is 0. Okay? So, for this cycle, i-compute natin yung mga total Q, W, delta U, delta H, and delta S. So, the Q total is NRT ln V2 over V1 plus Cv times T2 minus T1. So, yung Q total is just equal to negative W total. Kasi makikita nyo dito na W total is negative NRT ln V2 over V1 plus Cv times T1 minus T2. So, T1 minus T2 is just equal to negative T2 minus T1. So, kapag ka in-equate niya yan, ganito yung magiging relationship ng Q at W. Okay? So, for delta U, that's 0 plus Cv times T2 minus T1 plus Cv times T1 minus T2. That's just 0. Okay? So, 0 ang delta U ng cycle. The delta H at the cycle is 0 plus Cp times T2 minus T1 plus Cp times T1 minus T2 is equal to 0. So, delta U and delta H of the cycle is 0. Okay? So, this is obvious because delta U and delta H are known as state functions. So, state functions do not change if your state okay, is from state 1, tapos pabalik naman siya sa state 1. So, parang hindi rin siya nag-change. Okay? However, for delta S total, we have NR ln V2 over V1 plus CV ln T2 over V T1. Okay? So, from the adiabatic relationship, Let's analyze the third uh, path, okay? So, the third step. So, from C back to A. So, the adiabatic relationship for this can be derived by equating CV dt and negative nRT dv over V. Tapos, i-ano nyo lang, i-rearrange nyo lang para yung mga like terms nasa isang side. So, dividing that by T, tapos i-integrate nyo both sides, okay? This, uh, this one on the left is integrated from T2 to T1 kasi pabalik tayo sa A. From T2 to T1. Okay? Tapos, yung kabila naman, from V2 to V1. So, ganyan sila integrate. So, the adiabatic relationship is Cv ln T1 over T2 is equal to negative Nr ln V2, V1 over V2. So, this means that Cv ln T2 over T1 is just equal to the negative Nr ln V2 over V1. This means that this is just equal to the negative of this term. So, ibig sabihin, this entropy total is 0. Okay? So, proceed naman tayo dun sa mga cycles na may irreversible steps. So, as an example, we have a cycle here where the first step is an isobaric expansion step. So, isobaric meaning the pressure is kept constant. So, hindi na may maintain yung mechanical equilibrium throughout this particular step. So, ibig sabihin, this process is irreversible. So, after ng isobaric expansion, we have an isothermal expansion, na reversible because of the behavior of this graph, okay? 
So, kapag ka-curved yung, uh, yung graph, it represents an infinite number of PV steps. So, kapag kasi finite yung number of PV steps, makakita kayo doon ng uh, staircase type, yung parang hagdan na uh, itsura ng graph. So, since infinite number yung PV steps, magiging smooth na yung iyong uh, graph. Okay? So, this one is a reversible isothermal process. So, you can review this concept dun sa ating previous video, yung work in heat, the path dependent functions. Okay? So, after the isothermal expansion to C, C now comes back to the A, okay, yung initial step niya, through the adiabatic compression. So, the adiabatic compression is also reversible. Okay? So, uh, to summarize, we have a diagram here. So, yung A natin, initial niya ay P1, B1, P1. Those are the initial states. Tapos, when it undergoes an isobaric process, the pressure is maintained, but the volume and temperature changes. So, after the um, isothermal step naman, yung, yung temperature ay na-maintain while the pressure and volume is changed. So, after ng yung adiabatic compression, bumalik yung ating state dun sa initial from C to A. Okay? So, now let's calculate the internal energy, enthalpy, heat, work, and entropy for each step. So, for the first step, the delta U1 okay, is Cv times T2 minus T1. So, T2 is the temperature at B. Yung T1 is temperature at A. So, delta H1 is Cp times T2 minus T1. Q1 is delta H1 okay, because this is an isobaric process, dP equals 0. And the heat at constant pressure is just the enthalpy. So, Q1 is equal to delta H1 which is also equal to Cp times T2 minus T1. The work in this process is equal to the negative of the pressure 1, which is maintained in the process, times V2 minus V1. So, the entropy in this process is Cp times ln T2 minus T1 naman. That is just uh, the integral of dQ over T. So, for the next step, uh, this is isothermal, so the temperature is maintained. The delta U and delta H for this process are both 0 because of the temperature dependence of delta U and delta H. Okay, kapag ideal gas, sa temperature lang sila nakadepend. So, zero sila kapag constant ang temperature. So, Q2 is equal to negative W2 because delta U is zero. According to the first law of thermodynamics, delta U is equal to Q plus W. So, if delta U is zero, Q is equal to negative W. Since W is negative NRT2 ln V3 over V2, Q is N or positive NRT2 ln V3 over V2. Delta S is therefore Q over T. Okay, so that's NRL and V3 over V2. So finally, for step 3, okay, since it's adiabatic, dQ is equal to 0. So Q is equal to 0. Okay, consequently, delta S for this process is also 0. So delta U is just Cv times T1 minus T2 because this T2 is the uh, temperature at point C. Tapos, Point C to, tapos T1 na yung temperature sa point A. Kasi bumalik na siya sa initial temperature. Okay? So, for delta H3, that's Cp times T1 minus T2. While the work, since Q is equal to 0, work is just equal to delta U. So, therefore, work is equal to Cv times T3 minus T2. Okay? So, now let's calculate the total uh, parameters for the cycle. So, the total delta U is just equal to Cv times T2 minus T1 plus Cv times T1 minus T2, zero siya dun sa isothermal step. So, therefore, the total internal energy for the cycle is zero. So, the delta H total is also equal to the sums of the delta H for each step. Cp times T2 minus T1 plus zero for the isothermal step plus Cp times T1 minus T2 dun sa ating adiabatic compression step. So, delta H total is zero for the cycle. Q total is Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Okay, so that's equal to Cp times T2 minus T1 for the isobaric step plus NRT2 ln V3 over V2 for the isothermal step plus zero for the adiabatic step. So this one is a non-zero value. Okay? Work total, however, is W1 plus W2 plus W3. So for the isobaric step, that's negative P1 times V2 minus V1, negative NRT2 ln V3 over V2 dun sa isothermal step, and Cv times T1 minus T2 dun sa ating um, adiabatic step. So, we can combine this and this by first converting negative P1 times V2 minus V1 to uh, the 
nr uh, t2 minus or nr t1 minus t2 so how do we convert that okay so we first okay uh, substitute volume 2 okay change muna yung color so v2 is equal to nr t2 over p1 based dun sa uh, nandito sa diagram okay so balik tayo dito sa diagram okay yan yung diagram na yan so v2 is equal to nr t2 over p1 v1 is equal to nr okay ito naman yung v1 nr t1 over p1 so itong mga to isa substitute natin dito sa volume 2 tsaka volume 1 so kapag na-substitute na natin yan makakancel yung p1 okay so this now becomes negative nr times t2 minus t1 okay so this CV naman is positive. So, positive CV times T1 minus T2 is equal to negative CV times T2 minus T1. Okay? So, kapag inad nyo itong dalawa, magiging negative CP T2 minus T1. So, alam naman natin na yung CV plus NR, okay? Negative is equal to negative CP. So, yung T2 minus T1 you just multiply the equation by T2 minus T1 on both sides. So, since na-derive na natin yung negative CP times T2 minus T1, we have that there in the equation. Tapos, negative NRT2 LNV3 over V2. So, let's just erase the annotations muna para mapansin natin yung um, relationship ng Q total sa W total. So, makikita natin dito, okay, na yung, yung Q total ay positive CP times T2 minus T1 plus nrt2 ln v3 over v2 while this one is negative cp times t2 minus t1 minus nrt2 ln v3 over v2 so that is equal to negative q total so w total is just equal to negative q total okay so w is negative q in the cycle so let's now calculate delta S total. So the delta S total is delta S1 plus delta S2 plus delta S3. So this is a plus sign. Okay. So that is equal to CP ln T2 over T1 plus NR ln V3 over V2 plus 0 for the adiabatic step. So the next thing to do is to simplify the expressions for Q total, W total, and delta S total. So let's take a closer look dun sa ating Q total. W total, tsaka delta S total. So, tingnan natin kung sila ay greater than 0, less than 0, or equal to 0. So, at constant pressure, okay, meron tayong isobaric process. So, mag-take effect doon yung Charles Law. So, according to Charles Law, V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. So, since this is an expansion process, V2 is greater than V1. So, therefore, T2 is greater than T1. Okay? So, at constant temperature naman, mag-take effect yung ating... Um, Boyle's law. So, Boyle's law means P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. If V2 is greater than V1, therefore, P2 is less than P1. Okay? So, for Q total, since uh, T2 is greater than T1, this is a positive value. Okay? And since V3 is greater than V2 because the process was an isothermal expansion process. So, punta natin siya. Nandito siya. Okay? That is an isothermal expansion process. So, therefore, this value is also greater than 0. So, the Q total is positive. Okay? This Q is positive. It's greater than 0. So, for the W total, it's automatically negative because it is equal to negative Q total. So, how about S total? What is the value of the S total given its terms CPL and T2 over T1 plus NRL and V3 over V2? So, pwede natin i-break down yung CPL and T2 over T1. Okay? Ito into CV and LNT2 over T1 plus NR LNT2 over T1 because we have this equation CV plus NR is equal to CP. Okay? So, na-break down na natin yung equation. We can now uh, turn into the adiabatic relation for this particular step. This is the adiabatic step in your cycle. So, from CP to V3 T2 to A, P1, V1, T1. So, pabalik na siya dun sa initial step. So, if you derive the um, adiabatic relation for that, you can you will arrive at uh, CV ln T1 over T2 is equal to negative NR ln V1 over V3. So this also means that CV ln T2 over T1 is equal to positive, okay? Kasi ito ay negative, 
nr ln b1 over v3. So, pwede natin itong i-substitute okay, dito sa equation na to to get this one. Okay? So, delta s total is equal to nr ln b1 over v3 plus nr ln v3 over v2 plus nr ln t2 over t1. So, pwede natin pagsamahin itong dalawa okay, because these are um, natural logs. Okay? So, kapag pinagsama natin, they will become products. So, V1, V3 over V3, V2. So, NR, LN, V1, V3 over V3, V2 plus NR, LN, T1 over T2. So, makakancel yung V3. Matitira tayo ng V1 over V2. So, V1 over V2 can be translated using the Charles Law. Meron tayong Charles Law dito kanina. Okay? We have a constant pressure process in the cycle. So, this takes effect. Okay? So, V1 over V2 is T1 over T2. Okay? So, kapag ka-derive nyo ito, mag a kayo dito sa relationship na to. So, we can substitute okay, T1 over T2 in this expression. So, using the Charles Law, okay, may kita nyo ito. Or pwede nyo i-substitute yung V1. So, V1 over V2, pwede nyo rin itong gawin. Okay? NR T1 over P1. So, V1 is this. NR T1 over P1. Pwede rin NR T2 over P1. Okay, yan. Yung sa isobaric step. So, makakancel yung P1, NR, P1, NR. Matitira kayo ng T1 over T2. So, this is the same. Okay? So, pwede nyo nang isubstitute yan. T1 over T2. Dito. Makukuha nyo ay itong expression na to. So, delta S total is NR, LN, T1 over T2 plus NR, LN, T2 over T1. So, the delta S total is 0. Okay? So, for the cycle, the entropy or the net entropy for the cycle is 0. Okay? So, in conclusion... Yung mga state functions natin, yung internal energy, enthalpy, and entropy, yung mga net changes nila ay zero kapag ka cyclic process, regardless of the presence or absence of irreversible steps. Kasi sila ay state functions. Kapag nagre-revert dun sa initial state yung system, ibig sabihin wala tayong net change in state. So, wala tayong net changes in the state functions. However, sa mga path functions natin, meron tayong changes. But, the relationship between the heat and the work are opposites in sign. So, kapag ka meron kang net heat input, meron ka corresponding net work output and vice versa. Kung net heat output naman, meron ka dapat net work input. And the magnitudes are the same. So, it follows the conservation of energy. So, the absolute value of dq cycle is equal to the absolute value of dw cycle. Okay? So, this is all for the um, topic on thermodynamic paths and cycles. So see you next video.